What's going on guys, Dividing here and today we are back with another MCPE shader review. This time we're going to be reviewing the CSPE shader V1 or 6 version 1.2 real. Yes, that is the name of this shader. So before we start off the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and comment down below for any future suggestions you may want. If you want to see my first CSPE review, it's in the card right now. And yeah, so let's get on with the review. So first off, this shader is not for low-end devices. I just want to tell you that before you break your phone, right? So just chillax. So this is what the shader is. We have our waving leaves over here. It's your, actually, it's a previous type of waving in MCPE shaders because shaders used to wave like this rather than the ones that wave now. And this one's like more of a periodic waving. However, there is a sort of border right here. So if you're not into that, then that's fine. For grass, it does wave right here. It still waves with the two parts and it does wave periodically, not like other shaders where it waves always. This one, there's a time to it. So if you're into that, then that's fine. Now, another feature you may have noticed, which we haven't seen in another shader for a very long time, is the player shadow. Yes, the player shadow once again is back and it's not perfect because you can actually see your body parts being dismembered if you can get the right angle. But other than that, we have a player shadow, so that's cool. What we have over here is the sky. So we have a blank canvas of sky over here with a hue, so that's good. Then we have our custom clouds over here. And I'm gonna be honest, it looks like it was green screened onto the sky. Like I feel like it's not as good as other sky shaders now, like EVBE or other musk rose or even ABC shader, but that's just my opinion. So over here we have our custom sun, it is a yellow ball of light, not a white ball of light, and it radiates an aura, so that's pretty cool. So this is how the lighting looks like, it seems to emit a pink to reddish light. As seen in the cinematic, it was a bit reddish here, and exposed to the light it seems to be pink. And it seems to be white directly exposed to light, so that's, that's kind of weird. But yeah, that's how the lighting looks like, and of course we have our shadows over here. Now, at least they're not rigid or pointy and they do seem to be smooth on the sides, although we have some bugs over here. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So we have the water over here and it looks very, very Java-like. We have our reflections over there. I mean, look at that. That's practically Java. It looks really good from afar, but when the moment you go near, the effect, of, the effect is kind of gone, the ripples. You don't see an outline, so that's pretty cool. And you can even still see your player shadow and it even ripples, so that's really good. And yeah, that's basically it for the water. This is a very laggy shader for low-end devices, so don't use it. And over here, this is how it looks like underwater. So if you want to use this for monument hunting, you can, but it will get laggy the more you stay underwater, so be careful of that. And personally, I'm not a fan of this. As you can see, it just turned a bit laggy. But yeah, that's basically it for the overworld. Let's head into the nether. All right, so we're here in the nether and as you can see, it is a normal Minecraft shader nether. And it's pretty normal, it looks pretty good, right? Now we do have some problems, we have some bugs. We seem to have shadows in the nether and a player shadow. Other than that, there really isn't anything else that's new to the nether. We do have the warm lighting the, the lighting gives off, which is the yellow or red or pink. And we do have something interesting that the shader brings though, is this. It seems to give off a wave effect that resembles the ripples that it was giving on the water. So every light source in the nether seems to be rippling, which is actually cool since it's like a heat wave and we do have some lighting issues. So like just now, um, we just experienced it. But other than that, that's basically it for the nether in CSPE. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And comment down below for any future suggestions you may want me to review or other shaders. And yeah, see you guys next time. Goodbye. Peace. Also, there's particles. Wow.